Today I'm going to be comparing Blogger vs Google Sites. These are two free website builders by Google. You can easily build websites, all kinds of websites for any niche using these two free website builders. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick comparison between the two. We're going to be looking at five different categories for each and every one of them. And lastly, I'm going to give you my thoughts on what I think of each and every one of these free website builders. So the first category is easy access to stats and tools. So Blogger gives you easy access to these tools. You can easily find your post, your stats, your comments, your earnings, your pages, layouts, themes. You can easily access these tools, which is very convenient because most of the times when you want to look at your posts, your stats, comments, and earnings, you don't have to go through a certain menu. You don't have to access a different section of the website. You can easily just access them directly from the home page. Whereas if you look at Google Sites, it doesn't really have any access to any of those features. Okay. When you go to the home page of Google Sites, you'll just see the websites that you've built and it doesn't really give you any access to your stats or comments or any access to any of those tools. So for this, I'm going to give it to Blogger. Number two, more templates or themes. Now, if you look at Blogger, you will find a wide range of different themes. Now, Blogger gives you actually access to 12 themes, and each of those themes have about four sub themes. For example, let's look at the first one. As you can see, the Contempo, which is usually the default one, it gives you five different looks, okay, different palette styles, okay, which is really, really cool. If you look at Soho, so Soho, you also get different colors or palette styles. Look at Emporio, it's very similar. And these are very modern themes that you can easily use for your website today to make it appear really, really cool. Now, Google Sites, on the other hand, does have templates, but not as many as bloggers. As you can see, you have uh, categories here. So you have personal and personal has two. So family update and portfolio. Uh, the second one is work. So under work, you have event, help center, project team. Next, you have small business. So there is dog walker, holiday party, uh, photo portfolio, restaurant, salon, and wedding. And lastly, you have education. So under, uh, under education, there's graduates, professors, club, and student portfolio. So you still get uh, different themes or templates, but just not as diverse as Blogger. Okay, you won't get a wide range of different templates, uh, different templates that is. But then again, you can easily customize your templates and make it look the way you want it to look when you're designing. Number three, usability. Looking at Google Sites, when it comes to usability, Google Sites does give you a wide range of features, okay? You can easily customize it the way you want. This is why I said uh, when you're choosing a template, it doesn't really matter because you can easily design it the way you want. It's very easy actually to use Google Sites. And Google Sites does give you more uh, control to your website, to your website design. So I would say it's pretty easy uh, using Google Sites when designing your website okay it's something that you can easily learn after building your first page okay now looking at blogger i would say blogger is very very easy uh, for blogger uh, anyone can easily understand even those who have never built a website because it gives you a layout of an article it's very beginner friendly you don't have to put any blocks you don't have to drag and drop it actually doesn't use the drag and drop feature it's more like an article template where you just easily write your content for your website, place your text, place your images, and you're done. So for usability, I'm going to have to give it to Blogger because it doesn't involve any drag and drop type of website building. Number four, building tools. So like I've said, Blogger doesn't really have any building tools or building blocks, which involves uh, dragging and dropping. What it allows you to do is place images just the way it plays on a Word document or a Google Docs document. So it's very, very limited to that when it comes to using blocks or templates to easily customize your website the way you want it to look like. For Google Sites, you easily have access to these blocks. As you can see on your right hand side, you can easily select a text box. So just by clicking on text box, you can easily access a text box block. By clicking on image, you can access an image blog and upload images. You can embed code and you also have easy access to your Google Drive. 
Below here, you also have more content blocks. So this is what makes it stand out. You can easily use, uh, drag this, uh, not really drag, but just select different content blocks. So as you can see, you have image, you have text here, you have images at the top, you have text below. So you can easily customize the way you want your website to appear. Okay, it makes it very, very customizable compared to Blogger. You also have more features here. You have the collapsible group. You can place a table of contents, image carousel, buttons, dividers, so all these features can be used here on Google Sites. So I'm going to have to give it to Google Sites on this one. Number five, URL length. Now this doesn't really matter, but I know some people would be concerned on the default URL length that you get for each of these. Now Google Sites will have a much longer URL. As you can see, there are actually three different words. So sites.google.com. This will have to be there no matter what. This is a free domain that you get with Google Sites. On top of that, you'll have the name of your website, which is this over here, right? So if you remove the name of your website, this is basically how it's going to look like. So this is all what is included with the name of your website. Now looking at a Blogger, Blogger is much shorter, okay? This is what you get by default, and it comes after the name of your website, all right? So you'll have the name of your website here, and then you have the blog spot over here. Okay, so if you remove this, right, as you can see, it's much, much shorter compared to Google Sites. Now, again, this doesn't really matter, but again, uh, if you're looking for length, this is going to be shorter. Okay, this is going to be a shorter uh, default domain that you get for free compared to Google Sites, which is much, much longer. But each of these website builders have a custom domain, so you can actually customize your domain for a monthly or a yearly fee, which is going to exclude sites.google, all right? And for Blogger, it's going to exclude Blogspot, okay? So it's just going to have the name that you gave it without Blogspot or sites.google. Number six, loading speed. Now, since both of these platforms are by Google, the loading speeds are going to be really fast, okay? As you all know, Google has one of the fastest servers, if not the fastest servers, so, Loading speed will not be a problem for any of these website builders. No matter how long you make your website, it won't affect the loading speed. Even if you place multiple links, multiple affiliate links, it will not affect the speed of your website. Okay, it's easily supported because it has fast servers from Google. So loading speeds won't be a problem. Number seven, overall appearance. So this is the end look of your website. Okay, the final appearance of your website. Now, again, this one just depends on the layout or the theme or the template that you've chosen. So say, for example, a uh, blogger. So if you go to blogger, as you can see, they have different variety of themes which can make your website really stand out. And each of these themes, you can easily customize it, make it even look much, much better. So for example, if I want to change this one here, the 4-on-1 parenting uh, website, I will just come back over here to my themes, I pick a layout or I pick a theme, okay, like this one here. I scroll down here and click on apply, click on download theme and click on apply. I would come back over here and refresh. And as you can see, it completely changes the look of your website. Now, personally, I prefer darker themes, so this is also subjective, but it just goes to show you that you can easily change the look or the overall look of your website. Same thing with Google Sites. You can easily change the look of your homepage, just not as much as Blogger, because again, you're very limited to your theme selection. As I showed you earlier, this is pretty much what you get for your default themes. So you don't really have full uh, control of your overall uh, appearance of your website. Okay, so for this one, I would hand it to Blogger. And that concludes my comparison for Blogger and Google Sites. Now, my final thoughts on each of these is that both of these website builders are effective, okay? They're good in their own ways. Even if you're doing affiliate marketing, both of them work well. They allow you to uh, insert affiliate links easily. You can build a website of any niche. So it just depends on what it is exactly that you want specifically from each of these website builders. If you want different varieties in theme selection or template selection you would be happy with blogger but if you don't really mind about theme selection and you really care about 
full control of your website building. Uh, you can easily use Google Sites because it allows you to select or to use blocks and design the website the way you want it to look like. You can actually build your website much faster using AI website builders. So check out this video right here where I show you different AI website builders that you can use to build any affiliate marketing website. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.